And we appreciate you being with us. We start with a first for Huntersville police now investigating a triple homicide that has left the community in shock. Investigators say 21 year old Michael Matoka shot and killed three other men in a mobile home park before turning the gun on himself. And so far, police say the motive still is not clear. They've been on a multi day investigation now and WCNC Charlotte's Brianna Harper explains how it is all unfolded. According to investigators, they believe all the victims were killed on the same day, but officers were only able to find the bodies one day after the other, piecing together this terrible crime bit by bit. This investigation first began on June 1st when a family member made the unfortunate discovery that 58 year old Michael Elliott had been shot and killed inside his mobile home here along Caldwell Station Road. More evidence eventually leading officers to find a second body the next day. 26 year old Kendrick Knight shot to death in a nearby wooded area. Now, during this time, Huntersville police say they notified the victim's family but did not want to alarm the public about these deadly crimes just yet. Due to the sensitive nature of the investigation and the fact that it appeared to be isolated, we did not believe that there was an immediate threat to the community. And finally, on June 3rd, a third victim, 41 year old Philip Jewell, also found dead inside his home that's in the same mobile home park in the first murder. Jewell's family members creating this GoFundMe page to help raise enough money to send his body back home to family in Kentucky. Police say the final death they uncovered also in Jewell's home was Michael Matoka, believed to be the suspect in all three murders, who police say eventually turned the gun on himself. So far, no motive has been revealed, but Huntersville police feel assured the community is still a safe one. This was unfortunately a very tragic and uh, again, isolated incident, and we're just going to continue doing what we always do. And police don't believe there are any other victims or suspects related to this case, yet still they're asking for the public's help to provide any additional information that may help in this investigation. Reporting in Huntersville, Brianna Harper, WCNC, Charlotte.